the Black Guardian was never the most respected of Eternals. However, he felt that his contribution to inject chaos into the universe was if not respectable, then necessary. For after all, if the universe were run by the White Guardian, it would only be a peaceful haze and order with nothing ever happening. How boring is that? People never understood that chaos was necessary for a good story. At least, this is what the Guardian thought he believed. However, this is the time the Guardian realized he was wrong. For the longest time, the Black Guardian always won his contest with the White Guardian. The dark times before the dawn of the universe were the most enjoyable of his eternal existence, if he even did have a lifespan. He spent so much time amongst the ephemerals, uh, those who experienced time in a linear fashion with limited lifespans, that perhaps he was starting to view the universe through this limited perspective. Yet his rage blinded himself to this. Recently, since the dawn of the new era, on many occasions, the White Guardian used a certain ephemeral Time Lord known as the Doctor to sabotage several thousand of the attempts to bring chaos into the universe. It is true, from time to time, the Doctor toppled horribly oppressive governments and would throw certain events into chaos, which the Black Guardian did truly enjoy. But the utter humiliation he faced, with the loss of the key to time, was such an egregious provocation that he could stand it no longer. The Black Guardian was defeated, and had not a fiery ember in him, until an encounter with the White Guardian illuminated him to the truth. He cheated. The White Guardian had let it slip that he contacted the Doctor directly and used the Time Lords and their power against him. It would seem that the Doctor was the White Guardian's guardian angel. The High Council of the Eternals, even Zelen, unanimously agreed that involving lower beings to interfere in the matters of fellow Eternals was strictly forbidden. And yet the Doctor... The Doctor... The Black Guardian had had enough. If the White Guardian could have an agent, then so could he. He could take a being from the universe and imbue it with a lust for chaos, but that wouldn't do at all. If they were mortal, they would be defeatable. This doctor was an angel for the White Guardian. What better to defeat an angel than a demon? He murmured to himself. This would have to be a creature of his own creation. However, despite the power he wielded, the one thing he could never master was animating a being with a will of its own. So the Black Guardian did what he was best known for. He asked for help. The toy maker was still reeling from his failure with the Doctor in Blackpool. Or, or was it the time the Doctor was a marionette? Or was it the time with the Trilogic game? Time was a silly concept. It was all of them at once and none of them at all. The toy maker was a very lonely being. None of the other Eternals ever talked to him, if you can call the cosmic reverberations of the old ones talking. He loved to play, and yet they called his games patronizing. If no one would be his friend, he would create his own friends. The wind-up toys and the playing cards never grew tired of him. The parades they threw for him were magnificent, but never quite as good as the toy maker rehearsed. Then the toy maker had the greatest moment in thousands of years and in one second all at once. He heard knocking. A knocking. Oh, it was resplendent. The tapping of a wooden board was a piece of music he could dance to. It was a great gift when he finally uttered the wonderful words, Come in. In shuffled the indignant and embarrassed god. If it isn't one of the guardians of time... If this is about the time... You need not fret, my loquacious friend. I am here because I would like your help. The toy maker laughed. No, he howled. Actually, he was retching with laughter. Oh, how wonderful this is. How resplendent. What could you possibly need from me? Trying to hold back from striking the fellow in the racist getta, through a gritted smile, the Black Guardian said, You are very talented in the manifestation of beings. I would very much like you to assist me in creating a servant. Creating an agent would be tricky, as the old ones don't exactly like us to tamper with such things. To hell with the old ones. 
I will have what I am owed. After a pause, the toy maker said, I admire your tenacity. Why have you not tried with the Eternals? They create beings. With no substance, I've heard your manifestations seem to have a soul of their own. The Dark One was trying to flatter him, and it was working. I do enjoy being lavished with admiration, but why should I help you? What will you give me in return? Perhaps that dead bird you wear. You would make such an excellent puppet. Oh, how I adore puppets. Mock me if you wish, but there is a commonality that plagues us both. Boredom? The Doctor. The room was still. The parade had stopped. The wind-up toys fell dead. What about that one? I wish to create a being that spreads chaos at the rate the doctor thwarts it. My deepest sympathies. I have been defeated by that insect time and time again. But I am afraid that what you ask is impossible. I do not possess the power to make my creations live perpetually in the ephemeral universe. But I do. All I need is your help with the initial creation. I can fortify his existence. Think about it. We will be the first beings to create a fledgling Eternal. Oh, you must be so excited to be a parent. Oh, do shut up! With a nod and a smile, the toy maker walked into the corner of the room and dragged out a dusty old box. This is my transdimensional toy box. It is an interface in which I can create my realms and toy people. I modelled it off of a weapon called the Galaxy Eater. Has it ever been used to such an extent? No, but in theory it should work. Shall we begin? The toy maker and the Black Guardian both grabbed the box, and it began to exist, and yet not exist. When you envision this creature, what do you see? It will be a being that will spread chaos throughout the universe, and that will be its purpose. Yes, but in your mind's eye, what does it look like? Like a creature of chaos, with a lust for destruction, a being of pure evil. Yes, but what of its features? What of its eyes? It doesn't need eyes. Sight is a distraction in the flashing world of ephemerals. What of its body? It shall be shrouded. No agent of mine would wish to be seen. You seem to be creating a wraith of some kind. This creature needs a personality, for that is the secret ingredient to my creations. Then give it one. What kind? Any kind you like. Are you sure? Once you imbue a creature with a personality, it cannot be reversed. As long as it is dependent on chaos, the rest doesn't matter. The Black Guardian was being rather short with the toy maker, but he understood. The old ones could rip down the barriers of the toy maker's world and destroy them both, reconstituting them into other guardians. For matter was like an idea and couldn't truly be destroyed, but it still wouldn't be pleasant. All of a sudden, an oozing, sick, shrieking whisper of a voice emanated from the box. Why am I here? The toy maker made a motion with his head in the direction of the box to the Black Guardian. You exist to create chaos. You exist to topple order. You are a wild card in the universe. That may be my purpose. But why am I here? Well, we made you. Why? Because I have been thwarted by a man known as the Doctor. He is a rogue element of the grand cosmic scheme of the universe. I wish for you to be his equal. I am here because you are a failure. Well, yes. It was at this moment that reality around them started to break. It was the Council. They had felt what was going on, and they needed to stop it. If I am to succeed, I will need many lives. The ground began to shake. Very well, you have thirteen lives. The box, which was oozing black smoke, simply grew a smile. A smile appeared in a Cheshire fashion. However, the teeth in this smile were monstrous. And And what what are are my limits? limits? The walls of this dimension were telling Ray, like a child ripping through a Christmas present. You shall be under my command. But But that that is is not chaos. The voices of the old gods were heard in the distant void. I just don't wish to keep fighting this losing battle against you. I I can can fight it for you. If... If what? It was at this moment that the Guardian realized it was a thinking, wanting being. 
Shocked, the guardian said to himself, That is too much power. Do we have an agreement? The metaphysical door was kicked in. Very well. The black guardian poured his power into the box. The wraith rushed out of the box with a flash of light. Time froze for the guardian and this demon from the box. For although time wasn't the way Eternals naturally existed, in a provided realm they had to obey its rules. This was why they were so seldom seen in the corporeal universe. The demon was dressed in black. It had no eyes, no face of its own. The best way to describe it was hungry. It was at this point the Black Guardian noticed that the toy maker, a quite talkative fellow, hadn't said a word. He looked to his left, he looked to his right, and dread sunk in. With panic, his voice wavered. Where's the toy maker? The demon smiled. Oh, he was delicious. With horror, the Black Guardian realized what he had done. You You did did say for for him him to to give give me a personality. (laughs) He'd gone too far. He wanted to introduce a being he could control. The creature was right. The Guardian didn't want chaos for the sake of chaos. He wanted to rule in the chaos. He knew that from that moment forward, he had to stop this monster. It was one thing to unleash an agent of chaos. It was another to release a being from hell. The Guardian tried to take action. They clashed. Their powers were cascading out, creating microcosmic ripples in the fabric of all dimensions. But it was a losing battle for the Black Guardian. He was old and tired. And this creature was ravenous. The demon grabbed the Guardian by the head and dragged him across the room and said in a sarcastic voice, Get some rest. He shoved the guardian in the toy box. The sad god looked up at the demon from the box. You tricked me. The creature, looking up wryly, said, Yes. And with a flash, the demon was gone. Eons passed for the defeated Lord of Chaos. Eventually, time unfroze. The Eternals gathered around the toy box and released the Black Guardian. They asked him, What have you done? I don't think I'll ever truly know. I'm sorry.